CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky joins us now with more on the new mask guidance. Dr. Walensky, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Why was this the right time to make this decision about losing masks? There were three things that really helped um, make our decision at this moment in time. The first is really in the last two weeks, our cases have come down by a third. So really, we have a rapidly declining case rate, probably because our vaccination rate is going up. Second, because we now have vaccines that are widely available to anybody who wants it. If you text your zip code to 438-829, you can find one of many vaccine sites that are near you. And we now have... Um, um, that enough vaccine and all of these sites so that people are now uh, empowered to make their own choice about whether they get vaccinated. We have supply, we have availability, people are eligible. And the third is that over the last several weeks, we have had seen emerging science, a growing body of evidence that if you are vaccinated, you're um, safe and protected from uh, getting COVID-19 and you really um, have a very low risk of transmitting to other people and that the, these vaccines Vaccines are really working against the variants that we have circulating here in the United States. Okay. We, we, we will essentially be relying on an honor system, though. Is that a, in terms of who is vaccinated and who isn't? Uh, you won't be able to tell, obviously, just by looking at somebody. Is that an effective way of, of, of doing this? You know, what we're really doing is empowering individuals to make decisions about their own health. So if you are vaccinated and you are making the decision to take off your mask, then you've made the decision to get vaccinated and you are safe. If you are unvaccinated, then you have made the decision to take that risk. And we are really encouraging people who are unvaccinated not to take the risk. People who are unvaccinated should not be taking off their masks. And we're really encouraging them to get vaccinated as soon as possible. But if you have several people in the room and some are vaccinated and some are not and they've all chosen to take off their masks it's the vaccinated people who will be protected right you talked about this a little bit but tell me more what do we know about people who've been vaccinated can they spread the virus so um, we have now a series of studies that have been looking and testing people who are vaccinated um, week after week or every other week just to screen them. The rates of asymptomatic infection are really extraordinarily low in those situations. Not zero, but extraordinarily low. We also know that the, these vaccines in the real world setting have shown 90 to, to 95, 97 percent efficacy. Yes, we are occasionally seeing infection that occur in people who are vaccinated. Um, but what we're seeing about those infections is that they tend to have a lower amount of virus. They tend to be asymptomatic. They tend to be mild. And we believe that that lower amount of virus really means that they can't give it to anybody else. All right. So, so if you see someone who's been vaccinated who tests positive, you, the alarm bells should not be ringing because they are for some people. Yeah, you know, I think we would certainly encourage that person to put on a mask, right? We, yeah. we wouldn't encourage them to be out and about. But what we're learning about those people is that they're really at lower risk of transmitting disease than if they were unvaccinated. Well, that's interesting. Um, there are some, uh, some vaccinated people who should still wear masks. Who are they and why? You know... Increasingly, we now have some evidence that suggests that if you have an immune compromising state, so for whether due to medicine or due to uh, a background disease, so for example, um, if you um, are a, a transplant uh, recipient and you are on immune uh, modulating agents for your transplant, then you, um, their vaccine might not be working as well as it would for others. If you're on chemotherapy for a cancer, your vaccine might not have worked well um, as well than others. And even if you're a dialysis patient, your vaccine might not be as effective as others. So what we would encourage people to do if they have one of these conditions is to consult their, with their doctor and say, under what conditions would it be safe for me to take my, vac my mask off? If we end up with a new variant coming from somewhere, could that change this guidance? 
I think we have to be humble in this entire process. Um, we believe that this is the right thing to do. The science has shown us that this is the right thing to do, but we have always said that we need to keep a close eye on variants. Here's what we know right now. Currently, right now, we are um, sequencing about 7 to 10 percent of all virus that is uh, circulating in the United States. We now have that capacity, so we have a really good window as to the variants that are circulating here, and we will continue to monitor the, that carefully. What we know in the science of the variants that are here is that our vaccines are working against them. But we really need to make sure, as we continue to monitor what variants are out there, that our vaccines will continue to work against them. What I can tell you is the more people who get vaccinated, the less circulating virus we have and the less likely we will be to see one of those circulating variants. Dr. Rochelle Walensky, thank you again for being with us this morning. We do appreciate it. Thanks for having me.